How's everybody doing today? We are back a couple weeks, better than six months on our beginner fish video. We are our number five this week. Coming in at number five, we decided to do the algae blenny. Every once in a while, you just buy fish for your tank that are colorful. The algae blenny is not colorful, but what he lacks in color, he makes up for in personality and he serves a great purpose. They are very good grazing fish, eating the algae off of the rocks. Here's Eli to get a little more in depth with you. Thank you all for tuning in to number five on our beginner fish series and thank you Ernie for that introduction. As he just mentioned, number five on our list happens to be the algae blenny, which actually encompasses a handful of species of blennies, but they all visibly look very similar. You might see rose blennies or algae blennies or seaweed blennies. There's a bunch of different species, but they all fulfill a very similar role in the tank and they all are gonna resemble each other pretty well. This tank behind me here does happen to have a larger algae blenny in it, but he is being a little bit shy at the moment. But these guys are really known for their personality in the aquarium. They're kind of a really interesting fish. They spend a lot of time perched on the rocks and they usually will come up and greet you at the glass when you get home or you get ready to feed the tank. Definitely have a lot of personality packed into a small little fish. And they've got a really silly looking face. A lot of people think they look like a grumpy old man, which they kind of do, but they're a fun little fish regardless. As Ernie mentioned, they're definitely a utilitarian fish as well. As the name suggests, they are definitely adept at eating algae. A lot of times they're going to eat some of the film algaes, diatoms, and other things that are going to grow on your rocks and grow on your glass. And they're going to spend most of the day picking at the rock work or picking at the glass and grazing these algae off. Oftentimes you do also run into an algae blenny that will help with types of filamentous algae. So some of your finer hair algae as well are going to get grazed down by the algae blenny in the aquarium, which is a great way to make sure that you're getting rid of some of these pest algae in the tank. And especially if you have a smaller aquarium, say somewhere in the 30 or 40 gallon range, the algae bunny is going to be a very appropriate grazing fish to add to your stock list. So definitely a useful fish to add to most aquariums. Something that is very fun to watch, cool personality, and just a silly looking fish. They are something that we almost always have in stock, a very readily available fish. And as much as they're not the brightest, can still be a fun addition to most aquariums. It is worth keeping in mind that a lot of your blennies and any of your other bottom dwelling fish in general can be prone to jumping when spooked. As they spend a lot of time perched on the rocks, the only direction they can really swim if they do get spooked is straight upward. So making sure that you have a decent, well-fitting lid on top of your aquarium is going to be helpful in making sure that you do not have an escape artist on your hands down the road. There are a couple other types of blennies as well that would make a suitable addition for this part of the list. Smaller blennies like bicolor blennies and tail spot blennies, although they stay a lot smaller than the algae blenny, only getting like three inches or so versus five or six. They also are quite good grazers as well, so they make a good addition in that regard. And occasionally in the hobby, you run into what's known as a Molly Miller blenny, which looks very similar to the algae blennies being known to sometimes graze at cyanobacteria, which usually is not palatable to just about anything. And there are reports of Molly Miller blennies eating Aptasia as well out of the aquarium. So definitely an even more utilitarian fish with that very similar appearance and behavior as your general algae blenny as well. Overall care for the algae blenny, as long as you've got probably 30 or 40 gallons to spare, generally you wanna only do one blenny per tank as they can get a little territorial with similar looking fish, even sometimes pestering other similar sized gobies. So it's definitely important to watch out if you do have similar fish in the aquarium as well. And just making sure that you offer a good varied diet, some quality frozen foods, especially things that contain algae content like megamarine algae or a spirulina mysis or brine shrimp, just to make sure that they're getting the nutrition that they need. On occasion, you also run into an algae bunny that is not the most ferocious eater and does not do very well unless it goes into a very well established aquarium. So sometimes you do run into just a picky blenny that's not really going to eat prepared foods very well for you. And just making sure that you do have enough algae growth in the aquarium, as much as it seems silly to make sure you have the algae before you get the animal to clean that algae, it's definitely important to the overall health of the algae blenny to make sure it's got some sort of offerings to keep it well fed and keep it fat and keep it happy. Thank you all for tuning in to number five on our beginner fish series. Hope you found the algae blenny video at least a little bit informative. And if you guys have one of these fish in your aquariums, I hope you find them nice and entertaining and also a good utilitarian fish as well. As always, feel free to leave comments, suggestions, questions in the comment section below and keep on reefing.